Well, dear congregation, I ask you now to please turn your very prayerful attention to that passage of God's holy word that I read to you in your hearing there in 2 Kings and the 21st chapter. And we meet this morning with the subject here of Manasseh. Of course, the subject is the Lord and the Lord's dealings with Manasseh. We go in our mind's eye to the context just to consider briefly the context, what has happened so far in the last few chapters. Remember chapter 19 and then chapter 20. What is the surrounding text? Well, we saw a very godly king, Hezekiah, in the midst of a very dark time. Israel had recently fallen to the Assyrian army, and they were led away forever, disseminated into the land there of Samaria, but also many of them taken away into Assyria, into foreign cities, and foreigners were brought into that land which was called Samaria. Once formerly Israel was Israel no more. Samaria being the capital of Israel in the north where the ten tribes were, were no more. Speak of the ten lost tribes of Israel. So in the days of our Lord Jesus, when he met with a woman at the well there in John 4, he said concerning the people there of Samaria, he said, you worship that which you know not. They were a people who no longer knew God, no longer knew the favor of God. There was only Judah in the south and little Benjamin with Judah from whence the Savior would come. Jesus Christ would be born of the tribe of Judah as was promised.